sure can rock with the best of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, outside this morning, uh, kind of yucky conditions. Maybe just rocking in the living room instead yeah, right? today. <laughs> it's pretty gloomy out there right now. Damp still. Uh, the good news locally, if for travels, Providence, south and east, you're fine. Just wet roadways. It's as you travel further north for those that may be hitting the roads for central and northern New England later today. And even northwest Rhode Island, that's a little icy. Right now, just gloomy with showers, fog and drizzle in Newport. And damp conditions out on the roadways here in Lincoln. Most of us are back up above freezing and still just been tracking these lingering pockets of sleet and freezing rain that have occasionally been still dropping south just over the border here into northern Rhode Island. Central Massachusetts kind of a mess this morning from the western part of the state all the way to Boston going to be seeing that icy mix. Snow, at least this first round, going to start to taper off in northern New England for another round moves in later in the evening and tonight. And with that, we're going to see some falling temperatures this afternoon. So our next concern is going to be for some freezing drizzle in the second half of the day. Right now, we're up above freezing in Providence and in Newport, Narragansett as well. Just above freezing in Glendale, so that's an improvement. Coventry still at last check at 32 degrees. So the pockets of icing becoming less of an issue as we head through the morning until we get into the afternoon, and that's when the temperatures will start to drop. So a heads up for some difficult travel later today. Cold blast follows for Friday with gusty winds into Friday night. Keeping an eye on next week. There's something piquing our interest here from Monday night through Tuesday night. Possible wintry storm system. This one has been mostly rain. Just a little bit of those freezing concerns here, which has us still under winter weather advisory for you know, interior parts of our area. This is where we're expecting to see that freezing drizzle this afternoon and tonight. Still, the coastline roadways should remain damp. So this morning, wipers are on drizzle and rain and still a few icy pockets north and west. This evening's commute certainly could be tricky. A heads up for slick travel conditions. I expect our temperatures from Providence North to be below freezing. Low pressure going to be continuing to slide east, bringing an end to this first batch of showers. Secondary wave of low pressure passes just a little more north of us for this afternoon and evening. And that's when we're going to see a few more of those showers. But 10 o'clock, most of these showers winding down, just overcast and gloomy. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, look at these temperatures. 31 in Providence, 27 in Smithfield. Still mid-30s at the coastline, but even there you're going to drop to near or just above freezing. Not quite as cold as what we're expecting in Providence. 28 degrees with damp conditions could spell, uh, again, slippery travel for anything untreated. Willimantic's included in that Smithfield as well. Taunton expected to be at or just below freezing. As the night goes on, few scattered showers early in the night, but rising temperatures. So we start off most areas above freezing tomorrow morning, only to see those temperatures dropping tomorrow afternoon, all the way down into the 20s by later in the day. So here's that wind forecast for tomorrow. It'll help to dry out the pavement at least. So I don't expect any widespread black ice concerns first thing in the morning, but we'll be keeping an eye on that. Gust 35 to 45 miles per hour tomorrow, bringing in that colder air. Saturday's highs only in the upper 20s. Could get a flurry either week weekend day or passing snow shower. Sunday's the milder half of the weekend back up near 40 and then again watching Monday night through Tuesday night for snow or a wintry mix.